Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Reputed Klansman One Don leader Andre Blackman Bryan was found guilty of facilitating two murders on Monday. In one case, he was convicted with the defendants Jazeel Blake, Dylan McLean and Tariq James for the killing of a couple, Jeremy and Bryan and Sidella Walder, in New Nursery Fisheries in St. Catherine in September 2017. A member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, has reportedly made a formal complaint of assault against a Jamaica Defence Force soldier following an altercation between them in Western Kingston on Sunday evening. The incident occurred at a security checkpoint in the area and has sparked outrage among some JCF members. Dozens of teachers either called in sick or staged sit-ins at several high schools on Monday to protest the latest wage offer in the government's review of public sector compensation. The protest took place at schools including Mount Alvernia, B.B. Coke, Garvey Maceo, Aberdeen and Waterford. Trained emergency medical technician Kamla Forbes Thomas has lamented the absence of an ambulance as she tried desperately to resuscitate music producer and DJ Arif Cooper who collapsed at a party he was working in St. Andrew on Sunday morning. She said CPR was performed for 10 minutes before Mr. Cooper was placed into a panel van and transported to hospital where the beloved 49-year-old Fame FM personality was pronounced dead. In sports, Paris Saint-Germain's striker Neymar is said to miss the rest of the season as he needs surgery on an ankle injury. In your currency trading, at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.76. The British pound sterling for $187.26 and the Canadian dollar for $115.11. In your other forecast, Tuesday will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.